if it took that Targaryen girl, one dragon to burn all of King's Landing, then surely with ten dragons, the feat should be rather easy. Ah, oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today you join me once more in the wonderful game of Skyrim. But alas, no, I'm not breaking this game per se using video game exploits. Instead, I decided to load up a few magical mods. You see, whilst I was browsing the mod nexus, which is quite possibly one of the most unique sites all of the internet has to offer, I stumbled upon a lovely mod which adds a randomizer to Skyrim. Now this randomizer can work in many magical ways to destroy the true Todd Howard Skyrim experience. I know Todd. I know we haven't exactly had the best track record in the past Todd Howard, but... Allow me to make it up to you by destroying your game once more. Now at the moment my channel is going through a crazy copyright issue, so uh, who knows whether this video will be uploaded to my actual channel, my second channel, or maybe neither channel if both of them are deleted by our lord and saviour. Oh god, who is the leader of YouTube at the moment? I think it's Susan. I think Susan's our leader at the moment. Actually, you know what, maybe I should do something to appease the YouTube gods. It's time we bring YouTube Susan into the mighty world of Skyrim. Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. So let us start a new game. Ah, oh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're bam. We're in Skyrim. Now, we need to create a absolutely perfect character. And for that, I want to create Susan. But not just any Susan. We need to create the Susan who is in charge of all of YouTube. Now, allow me to just bring up a few pictures of her. It's not every day of the week that you can tell people that your entire job is looking at pictures of Suzanne Vokichichiki, who is the CEO of YouTube. You know what? I think I can make her. You know what? This isn't going to be the Susan that we know. This is going to be some kind of like alternate timeline Susan, who has massive scars across her face from when she fought in the great YouTube wars of 2018. <laughs> oh god, these eyes. <laughs> We just give Susan eyes into the void. Yes, Susan requires your monetization, YouTuber. Please allow me to feast on it. <laughs> yes, Susan, you may have all of my monetization. Please take it away and give it to your gods. Yes, your monetization will be a great sacrifice to our overlords. You know what? I think this is fine. Um, it started out with Susan and... Uh... <laughs> It's taken a turn to like, I don't know, the kind of like conspiracy theory side of YouTube Susan maybe? Oh my goodness. Why is it every time I get my hands on a character creator, things just go horribly awry? Let's move on to the hair. Right, Susan, what have we got in store for you? You know what? I think this is just about it. I think we've actually almost completely and utterly nailed it. Sure, people might raise questions about the deaf eyes of Susan, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's finish and name our character. Now, I've got to be honest, I can't spell Susan's last name. It's it's completely impossible. Instead, we're just gonna have Susan Smashmouth, the legendary fighter and warrior of the great YouTube wars. So, here we have it, Susan Smashmouth. <laughs> oh, her eyes. They can see right into your souls. They know whether you've liked the video or not. Why haven't you liked the video? You're decreasing my monetization. Coca-Cola won't want to give me money unless you like the video, you see. Yes, Susan, I'm sure they'll like the video. Good. Yes. I won't bring back scare PewDiePie if you don't. Mm. <laughs> right, of course we're playing with the alternative starts mod, so um, who knows where we're actually going to start. And honestly, I think we should go for my favourite one, which is we're just going to hit surprise me. Because we generally have no idea where we're going to end up. We could be, I don't know, a warrior in the army. We could just have the default vanilla start. But what is important is that in this magical room... There's a little button here. Hmm, the randomizer. Oh, this looks interesting. Before we hit it, I'm going to have to save because this thing destroys the game. So allow us to activate the randomizer. So, you are attempting to randomize. This may take several minutes. Please back up your saves before this as it may make the game unstable. Oh, trust me, ladies and gentlemen, this will make the game unstable. So we need to choose our randomization style and my personal favorite is the recommended ad loot. Now I just need to stand around and wait five minutes for everything to be suitably randomized. A few moments later. Susan, I know you don't like waiting. Why can't they just randomize it immediately? Hmm, I know Susan, but sometimes you have to wait for a game to be broken, okay? Patience, Susan, patience. Three weeks later. I think we should personally remove the wait time when a channel gets copyright striped. We should delete it immediately. <laughs> okay, Susan, there's no need to go that far. Eventually. 
Ah, perfection! The randomization is complete, ladies and gentlemen. Now we need to choose the enemy randomization style. So, we have add randomized enemies, or add randomized enemies and guards. Brackets may make all guards hostile. Hmm, well, it's experimental, and you please use it at your own risk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do you think the spiffing Brit would go for just randomizing enemies, or just randomizing just about everything? Well, I, it's a bit of a no-brainer, if I'm honest. Although some say it can make the game a little bit too challenging. Ah, perfection. Randomization is complete. But now we need to randomize the enhancements and effects of weapons. So, you see, um... Randomizing the enchantment's effects makes sense. Wabberjacking is something I tried, okay? In my trial run, the Wabberjack means that every single weapon you pick up converts into a Wabberjack equivalent, and upon using literally anything, like say, hitting someone with a wooden spoon, a random effect might happen. For example, a nuclear bomb might suddenly spawn at your feet, or you might suddenly heal 25 million health points. Now, this is great right up until you realize that you are effectively rolling a D420 dice every time you pick something up, and I've got to be honest, about 75% of the effects are probably just going to kill you immediately. So for that reason, we're going for just the randomized enchantment effects, otherwise trust me, we will all die. And lovely, the randomization is complete. Now we have our final randomization setting. Do we enable chaos mode? Now, okay, this... This is going to make the world very funky. Chaos mode will absolutely break the game. So I've got to be honest, there's only one option, okay? When we spawn into the world, things are going to get randomized. Objects, weather, just physically all terrain features will be randomized on size, shape, what they actually are. Who knows what world we might create. Anyway, let's sleep. Where have we ended up? Ah, here we are. Apparently we've started another life. Oh, don't mind the chest. It's doing its own thing, and we're ready to begin our new life. Oh, wait, no, the chest has just shrunk back down again. That's down there. Okay. My hidden. Wait, who's this? Eric the Slayer? <gasps> Eric the Slayer is my friend! Susan, you have a friend! Oh, someone can love those deep, dark void eyes. Oh, this is fantastic. Eric the Slayer, you magnificent sausage. I'm so glad to have you. Anyway, there's a barman over there. If I just crouch down over here, can't see me. Let's check this chest. Ah, oh, this is quite nice. Immediately in the chest, we find the amulet of articulation, which means persuade checks in dialogue. <laughs> will almost always succeed, and speechcraft is 20% better. Nice, I like that. Oh, it turns out we already have three of them in my inventory. Lovely. Ah, and we also have the Bone Mold Armor of Health, which will increase my health by 53 hit points. You know what? I'll take that over the iron armor. That looks moderately overpowered. And weapons, we have a standard iron sword and the Stalrim Battle Axe of Winter. Nice. Oh, Susan is ready to party. All right, so whereabouts in the world is Susan even located? Do believe we are at the Frost Fruit Inn. Okay, where's that on the world map? The middle of nowhere. Well, isn't this just lovely? And we have absolutely no markers on the map because guess what? Susan, she hasn't really been out into the world per se. Well, you know what? I think it's kind of magical. Now let's see if we can steal anything from all of these lovely people. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> The barman has some interesting items, a mage hood, a bone mold armor of health, and a leather armor of major illusion, which is so impressive, illusion spells cost a total of 0% less. Oh, that's just terrible. Oh, I love it. Now, I do believe the way this mod works is if you were to spawn a character in and they would, say, have a iron sword, there's a percentage chance the iron sword may be replaced with instead a random item like the Salarim Battle Axe of Winter. You know, I think we've seen enough of this beautiful place. It's fantastic. It's got big chairs. It's got small chairs. Wait, can we sit in the big chair? <gasps> it's Big Susan's big chair for big people. <gasps> Eric, I'm afraid you're going to have to sit. Okay, right. Susan? Susan, are you okay? Susan, this isn't how we sit in chairs in the UK, okay, Susan? Okay, that's fine. Wait, there's a person over here. Oh, and he is also a tiny human. He is actually absolutely tiny. Where are you going, tiny moonwalking man? You know, that's fine. We're out of here. Wait, can we even leave? Wait, no. Please, let us leave. Where's the exit? Susan needs to leave. Oh, God. 
<laughs> this is the issue with Chaos World. The door's somewhere. Ah, oh, here's the door. It's in the floor, right here. There we go, we can finally escape. Oh, God, I love the Chaos World. Who knows how we're going to be able to find our way around here, but we can attempt it. Lovely, we've made it into the world. Oh, but no, a battle's starting. Why is that child massive? Oh, God, that child is huge. What's happening over here? Oh, it's a white run guard. Oh, the guards are hostile. Oh, God. And apparently Eric, my companion, has become really big and is killing this white run guard. Oh, God, I've just been vomited on by someone. Oh, it's you. Right, get frosted, man. Oh, God, he is really vomiting. Oh, but the frost did kill him. Wow, that's some effective frost. Well, that's almost as good as mine. I'll take that. There we go, we've managed to defeat the White Run Guards. Well done, Eric the Slayer. Or as I should now refer to him, Eric the Titan Man. Also, I don't really like how Susan is effectively the smallest person of the world. Or the fact that the cows have become ethereal and you can kind of see through them. Oh god, but this is an elven helmet of major alteration. I like that. What is this? A Stahl... What is a Stahl Rim Battle Axe of Thunderbolts? Target takes 74 points of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. Okay, I'm on board with that one. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Axe of Thunderbolts if I'm honest. This thing looks fantastic. Why are the children so different sizes? Okay, that's fine. And the fireplace is... It's sideways. Okay, that's fine. You know what? The world is our oyster. As the legendary Susan, we can do as we please and destroy as we please as well. And so for that reason, I won't head off in that direction because not only is there a strange robed man over there... What are they... What are... They're casting a lot of magic. Jesus Christ, was that a fireball? Oh, of course, it's just a dragon priest. Yes, you run into these all the time in Skyrim. I feel like we need to do something to actually defeat this absolute monster. Right, swing, and that's a miss, Susan. I'm noticing that was quite a big miss there. Hit them, Susan. Hit them with the lightning, Susan. Oh god, my health is really depreciating. Oh, but luckily we're joined in the fight by a dawn guard. <laughs> Hello, dawn guard. But hey, the dragon priest is dead. What did he have? Some abandoned prison key and a spell tome of heal others. That seems pretty useless, if I'm honest. Apparently there's an enemy nearby. What are you? Oh, you're just a Falmor soldier. Hello, Falmor soldier. Go away, Falmor soldier. All right, there you go. Yeah, this weapon has quite a delayed reaction. You hit them and then about five seconds later, they just have an electric seizure taser attack. Oh God, something's happening over here. We need to know what it is. I think there's a fair bit of fighting happening. Have we got any loot for me? Yes, a single chest. What have you got? What the hell is that thing? An amethyst paragon, bam, you're mine. Diamond paragon, 2,000 in- Okay, you're mine. Good lord. Tell you what does look important, though. That strange-looking tower thing over there. So come on, Eric. Whereabouts are you? Come on, big Eric. We need to come take out this thing. Susan needs you. Oh, yeah, we've got a bandit outlaw here. And what are you? Are you a... Oh, you're just a red god. Oh, my god, you're full of diamonds. Oh, it's so nice. Thank you so much. Oh, I think I accidentally hit Eric as well with my death axe. Oh, Eric. Eric, please don't die from the frost damage, Eric. Oh, god, Eric. <laughs> oh, this weapon is too overpowered. If you land a hit on something, it just slowly withers away to death. Eric, I wish you could have been more valuable. Oh... All right, Susan needs a new friend. What is- What the heck are you? What are you? <laughs> right, let's kill that thing. Oh god, Susan, you absolute warrior. That was incredible. They had a spell tome of candlelight and a glass sword of despair, which causes creatures and people up to level 96 to flee for 88 seconds. What? 88 seconds? You can literally hit someone with this and they'll just never come back. And we have a Daedric Warhammer of nullifying. Oh, I want that as well. Oh, these weapons, they're perfectly balanced. I love it. Oh, but I really don't see this sword in action. What are you? You're just a random Breton. Can we sneak attack him? Come on, Breton, forget about me. And flee! Yes, tell me I never should have come here. And now run away from combat and I'll see you again in 88 seconds time. Ah, this game. Oh my- what? 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 What is going? Oh my! Okay, hang on a second. Wolf, Todd. I don't. I don't think this is how it's meant to go, Todd. Oh God! What happened to the one wolf that I killed? Where's his body, Todd? I can't really see your wolves very well. There we go. All right, let's search the wolf. The wolf has enhanced crossbow schematics on them and a waystone focus. Classic wolf loot right there. Excuse me, wolf. Can you behave? Can you behave? Very obvious. Definitely 100% a wolf. All right, there we go. Oh my God! I stabbed the wolf right through its human head. Rest in peace, wolf. Well, that's one of the more stranger encounters I've ever had in Skyrim. I love how just kind of in
in the distance over there, you can just see two random people fighting because that's what I've managed to turn Skyrim into. Just literally, you're wandering around the countryside and you're just surrounded by loads of random encounters with brand new, unique experiences. Honestly, this game, I, I think I prefer it to Fallout 76. Yeah. The moonwalking dragers. What are they doing? I like how you just kind of like slide into combat. Oh wait, you're moving a little bit now. No, don't move your limbs. I preferred you when you stopped doing that. Apparently you resisted the fear. Cease resisting. Also, you don't have a weapon, so killing you actually wasn't too difficult. What do we got going on over here? Oh god, this one definitely knows magic. Good lord, that's a lot of magic. Okay, heal up. Oh, I see, it's a night master vampire. How could I forget? It resisted the fear. Oh god, Susan, no! Oh, Susan's dead. Oh, bugger. Alright, instead I'll just switch to the Mega Warhammer of Death. That seems like the better choice. Right. I feel like we need to find a road and make our way to a city. Yes, that's probably where Susan can make friends. Come on, Susan. Away. We need to find a way of making new friends and replacing Eric. Because let's be honest, he just wasn't really strong enough for us. We found a nice vi little village which should hopefully have a road. Okay, we've discovered a farm. Hello. The courier's got a letter and a lot of gold. What have we got? Yes. Come on, courier. What are we being given? Letter of Inheritance. Oh, Yarl Balgruff is telling me I was devastating that Eric the Slayer is dead. Oh, and Eric decided to leave me 300 gold, despite the fact that I hit him with my axe of effectively slow but guaranteed death. Oh, what a shame. Poor Eric. Thank you for your 300 gold, though. What the heck is going on here? Bandit Highwayman and Forsworn fighting each other. Just hit one with a Frosty Boy. Oh god, I'm out of food. I'm out of food! I'm out of food! Susan, don't die again, Susan! Don't you dare die, Susan! Oh god, we need to switch to a different weapon, a more effective weapon. Right, we're gonna have to use the nullifying massive death axe. Come on! Oh, I got, I got that one. Not that one. Bryhoff, don't kill me, Bryhoff. Come on, Bryhoff, don't. No, 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 no. Okay, right, we're running. We're just gonna run. I've done my job here. Oh god, don't die! Oh god, he's very much dead. Oh, Susan. Oh, Susan. Right, you know what? We really do need to get to a city where it's safe and we won't just get randomly ambushed by very overpowered people. Right, after much riding and copyright striking of illegal Shrek 2 uploads, Susan has finally arrived in the mighty city of Markov. We're outside the front gates and who knows what awaits us inside. Susan, hopefully we'll find new friends for you. Let us go and say hello to our brand new friends. Oh my goodness. Okay. At first glances, it's uh, not exactly completely friendly and has the game just crashed? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Todd? Todd, the game's not working. Oh, and it's gone. Ah, Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. I would normally take this time to blame it on Todd Howard and poor game design, but honestly, I don't know if that one's on me or him. Right, Susan's back, and this time, because we've reloaded the game, all of the randomized effects have been altered once more. For example, our Daedric Warhammer of nullifying, which previously was quite possibly the most overpowered weapon I've ever seen, has been nerfed to the point where its bonus damage has been put down to zero. However, the Stalrim Battle of winter is still ridiculously overpowered and so we'll be using it. Oh and also the completely OP Sword of Despair has nerfed itself. Instead of creatures up to level 96 fleeing for 88 seconds, it's really really just level 17. Oh it's it's terrible. But nonetheless, Susan's not gonna let any of that stop her. She's going to bring justice to these lands. Come on Susan, into Markov. Perhaps now they'll be our friends. Oh yes, here we go. Um... Town's not looking too friendly. Hello, Markov City Guard. What on earth is that weapon you're using? Okay, I'm going to have to kill you, I'm afraid. Luckily, my Frost Axe still works very effectively. There we go, and they're dead. What have you got, Markov City Guard? Oh my god, Daedric Armor. Oh, yes, come to me, please. And Tess Jeff L. Tankard. Oh, perfect. Oh no, a tidy man died. Augment, I'll take your key to your house. What the heck is going on here? And why is there a Falmar as a city guard? Right, you need to be killed. Oh god, someone just vomited on me. Oh god, it's one of these horrific vomit men. Oh no, I might die. I might die. Food, eat the potatoes. Oh god, I don't know if it'll be enough. We're gonna need all the magic we can gather. It's healing time. Yes, mega heals. Lovely. Right, now to just kill these city guards who have the ability to summon infinite frost bolts. Come on, Axe of Winter. Jesus Christ, what is that? No, not a frost outro. No, that seems relatively immune to my frost overpoweredness. Oh, bug up. Right, I'm out of here. You can die, though. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go into the inn. You guys seem to be uh, relatively busy out here. Don't mind me, I'll be back in a second. I think I just need about a thousand more potions before I ever step outside again. Oh, look 
it's so much nicer in here, so relaxing. It's only got giant bald men who you can kind of see through and... Okay, you know, I should just stop, stop expecting reality at this point. Oh, God, what was I just hit by? Oh, of course, it's the city guards. Hello, city guards. Please, just go away. Good God. Alright, I'm going to need more magic. Hopefully everyone else in here is going to fight with me and not just try and kill me. Oh no. Yingvar does appear to want to kill me. Please, friend, we could be really nice about this. There we go, he's going to let me live. Oh, luckily everyone else in here kind of dealt with it for me. I didn't really need to do anything. Let's see if we can buy some potions. Also, Clipper, what is up with your head? You keep looking just straight up into the sky. Right, the inn proved seemingly useless as they don't exactly sell potions. But I did manage to get a small amount of food, so my healing options aren't technically non-existent. Oh god, what was that sword you just hit me with? What the hell did that character just have? That was one hit and all of my life was drained out of me. Oh my god, I need that. Time to just run around the uh, entire city with my healing. Oh no, they killed someone. It's Waylin. Oh, they had the Nordic armor of major destruction. Oh, that would have been useful, wouldn't it? Oh god, wow, all the guards are just following me. And I think probably our best shot here is the Nordic Great Sword of Dread. And we just pray that we convince everyone to flee. Right, flee, flee, flee. Just everyone flee or die. There we go, they're fleeing for 28 seconds. Oh, that'll do. But I will take that Orcish Greatsword of Consuming, which restores 21 health. Now that one is pretty good. Oh yes, come on. Susan's on her way and she needs to say hi to you. Go on, give me your life force. Susan needs it to run the algorithm. Don't you vomit on me, I will drain your life skills. A uh, thank you, a uh, thank you, a uh, thank you. Every hit that I get is just more life force drained from you. You're hitting me. Life force, please. I need the energy. Uh, thank you. Oh, wow. There's just a pile of uh, dead guards here now. It's becoming quite the mess. Oh, no. The guards, they killed a tiny, tiny man here. <laughs> oh, devastating news. Hello, Muri. Go away. Oh, God. Now they're shooting magic. <gasps> Wait, are you shooting magic at me or are you friendly? Oh, no. You were shooting it at me. Okay, we're only activating this so that you can actually escape, Susan. Away we go. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't have Susan activate her admin perks, but Susan, I'm afraid we're going to have to do it now. The city has proven most unwelcoming to you. Alright, come on, we're out of here. Farewell, Markov. It was an absolute pleasure. I will never return. Oh god, we've stepped outside and what is this weather? And what are you, tiny man? It's Vigilant Tyranus. Right, you're dead. What on earth are you? What is this? Okay, it's an empty horse. That's fine. Oh god, right, we're out of here. Oh, there's Wagon Man. Wagon Man, take us out of here. Wagon Man's just grown and so is his horse. In fact, his wagon's changing. No, don't tell me about Markov. Take me away from here. Let me get away. You know what? This mountain range over here looks rather interesting. Surely there's going to be something spicy for Susan at the top. Yes, come on, Susan. We're on our adventure. People like adventures, you see. Adventures can sometimes even make it into the trending tabs. I wonder if I put this as a vlog, Susan. Would that make you more happy? That castle over there looks rather interesting. White Run over there would also be rather interesting to visit. Perhaps we can go teach the wonderful people of White Run about the joys of smash liking and subscribing and, of course, drinking tea. Ah, oh, God, I love randomized Skyrim. What on earth was that? Is that someone's body? I feel like there's a dead body over here somewhere. Come on, that couldn't have just been a graphical glitch, Todd. What on earth was that? I saw you literally hurl a corpse this direction. What on earth is happening here? We have some lovely guards escorting a prisoner. <gasps> these guards have some interesting weapons on them. Okay, I kind of want to know what these weapons are, so uh, I'm going to free this prisoner. Yep, give me the weapons. What have you got? Come on, that one looks interesting. <gasps> Oh god, right, so you have a big hammer too, but my big hammer's better. You have a hammer too, Stormcloak Soldier, so I'd like that one as well. That one looks quite impressive. So there we go, we've just got some free hammers now. I thank you for all of your weapons. I won't be returning them. Right, time to go say hi to the people in this castle. I'm sure are lovely and friendly towards me. Hello, it's me, Susan. I'm your friend. You can tell by the way that I've just slaughtered four people outside of your castle. Oh, they've appeared as red dots, and that means Todd Howard is telling me that they are very, very naughty. Fort Greymore. Okay, I'm interested. Don't mind me, just gonna smash my way through these little wooden posts. Don't mind Susan, she's just not a big fan of all of these posts, okay? Just let them go. Why are you just standing up there and looking at me? Right, time to enter and actually say hello to these people. Oh god, it was a vampire. Oh my god, Susan! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh god, I can't really blame you for that one, Susan. He did just one hit you and you just evaporated. My god. Right, Susan, to Whiterun we must go.
And finally, ladies and gentlemen, Susan Smashmouth has returned, but now outside the gates of Winterfell. Susan is on her final leg of her journey. She has traveled many, many miles with her trusty hammer on her back, smashing both the like and the subscribe simultaneously into people's foreheads. Her success is legendary, to the point where YouTube subscriber numbers have never been higher. She is quite possibly the greatest CEO YouTube has ever known. And here we find her, outside Winterfell, ready for the final leg of her journey. So, Susan Smashmouth, CEO of YouTube, let us say hi to the locals. Hello there, carriage driver. Have you ever heard of PewDiePie? You wouldn't like him, he's not very family friendly. But alternatively, I have a ton of uh, toy unboxing channels that you'd love to subscribe to. You just want me to ride in a carriage, but I mean, what about what about YouTube Red? Wouldn't you like to try YouTube Red? Come on, YouTube Red? No? Why do you only stare at me? No, Bjorlum, you must submit. You must submit, Bjorlum. Submit to the like and the subscribe. Ah, oh, Bjorlum. Finally subscribed. Finally you may rest easy knowing that I've handled your subscription feed. Don't ask questions as to where your previous creators who you'd like to watch have gone. Know only that I've selected what is right for you. And now, on to you. Smash like! Smash like! Subscribe! Why won't you do it, horsey? Why won't you? Well, apparently this horse is completely and utterly invincible. Just like Susan, who has now finally activated her final form, incredible speed, unlimited strength, and the power of YouTube Red. Hello there, stable man. I'm afraid you no longer need to live. Oh, hello there, Jovar. I was just having a conversation with your father over there. Don't go and check on him. He's quite fine. He's now a member of the YouTube Red program. But you, my friend, have you ever heard of YouTube Heroes? You look like the fine, outstanding man who... Why do you step away from me, Javar? Javar, you do not walk away from Susan when she's talking to you! I'm afraid you can't be a YouTube hero with an attitude like that. Come on, I need to make heroes out of the lot of you. What is that? You shouldn't have such a power, that's for YouTube admins only. Give me your Staff of Destruction. Prepare to be smited, White Run Guard. Give me your Staff of Stormwall. Susan, it is time we destroy this realm. Susan, fire! Oh goodness, you missed. Susan, come on, you shouldn't miss. If you do this, you might accidentally, you know, delete a perfectly normal channel. Oh goodness, yes, we must make sure never to miss. Hello there! I'm sorry, but it's time for you to die, Mr. White Rungard. No, you can do nothing to defeat the mighty Susan. Her powers know no bounds. Oh, you mere mortals! You try and defeat a god like Susan! Ah, my bounty has been removed, so they won't even see me coming when I enter through the doors. Perfect. Well, don't mind me, I'm just going to grab one of the Elder Scrolls and using its power. Know what? I think it's time we King's Landing White Run. Yes, with the power of the Elder Scrolls, it's time we summon fiery death upon the people of White Run for not submitting. Oh. Goodness, what on earth is wrong with White Run? Good lord, this place is definitely in need of a good scorching. Wow, and everyone's super duper hostile. Well, what a shame. Looks like I need to summon something to help me. Susan, bring forth the YouTube admins. There we go, Susan. That roar is the mighty roar of YouTube. Oh my good lord. Okay, Susan, Todd's not happy with. The f way you've kind of hijacked his game. Good lord, Susan, what have you done? I'm now currently just kind of hearing dragon ASMR. If it took that Targaryen girl, one dragon to burn all of King's Landing, then surely with ten dragons, the feat should be rather easy. <laughs> oh, hello, White Run Guards. Did I hear you haven't liked and subscribed to my latest favorite creator on the rise? For that, all of you deserve to be burnt in a fiery hellstorm. Hang on a second, has that man been turned into a leg of ham? Oh my goodness. Well, I guess this is what happens when you don't smash like. Hello, Anna Rafe. You look a little bit different than how I remember. And for that, I'm afraid you must die. Or rather, the dragons will make it sure of that. Yes, you know, I feel like this is how Susan would want the world to be. It's quite nice. Relatively tropical, in fact. Nice and toasty for some. Hang on a second, what are you doing? Don't make me kill you. I have the high ground. Look, I'm on a stair. Oh, and it was Piers being eviscerated by a dragon. Oh, hello, how are you doing? All right, Susan away. It's time we speak with the Jarl. He'd probably like to know about all of the dragons that are currently being, you know, spawned everywhere. Oh my 
God, I thought you just got evaporated in front of my eyes. Good Lord. All right, come on, let's go see to the Earl. Um, don't worry about the dragon situation. Uh, I'm sure it'll sort itself out eventually. All right, hello, y'all. I'm just doing a quick checkup on you, see the y'all, because I've heard that there's a chance that he hasn't subscribed to my favorite creator, Will Smith. Hello. Oh my goodness. Are you pulling a sword? You're pulling a sword on the mighty Susan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I can't let this stand. It's time to unleash our greatest powers. It is time we incinerate the world in nice YouTube red, family friendly YouTube kids app. Yes. Unleash all of your powers, Susan. Let no one remain in this world. In fact, summon more dragons. Yes. Allow them to assist wherever they've teleported off to into the world. Oh, there's one. <laughs> okay. They're around somewhere. <laughs> Good lord. You know what? It seems fitting that I should end this using the massive hammer of smash like and subscribe. Now, just where is the Yarl exactly? Certainly not you, Hrongar. Sorry, Hrongar. Oh, oh, I sadly can't kill you. It appears you were swept away. Oh, there goes your left. But where is your Bulgriff? Oh my god, hang a second, the dragons just pushed me out the map. Oh no, good fig, I just got placed back in. Oh no, and out I go again. <laughs> okay. Turns out dragons in closed spaces, not a good idea. You know what? It's been an interesting journey for Susan. She's managed to tour most of the world, beat the living submission out of almost everyone in the wonderful continent of Tamriel. Or at least I think that's the Tamriel continent. I'm not sure. I haven't exactly watched all 7,000 episodes of Skyrim lore on YouTube, so I'm sure there'll be a good few of you in the comments section correcting me on some of the ins and outs of the lore. Like, for example, why the phasing dragon of Whiterun probably did not exist underneath the seat of the Jarl. This brings a close to Susan's magical journey. She is simply too powerful to be contained in Skyrim, and so I must simply delete the game, uninstall all files, and burn my hard drive. It's been an absolute pleasure, Susan, but I'm afraid one of us has to go. And I've drank too much tea to be defeated by the likes of you. Farewell and enjoy your time elsewhere in this universe. Goodbye, Susan! I have to go now. My planet needs me. As always, a massive thank you to my majestic patrons who make all of these magical, stupid videos possible. Thank you very much. And to all of you who leave a comment and maybe even a like on this video if you're feeling spicy. Thank you very much. Especially in a time where my channel has gone from being deleted to almost being deleted to, hey, yeah, your career is going to end now. Wow, it's been a topsy-turvy time. So thanks to all of you for your support. And if you're looking for a video to watch next, wabam, this one on screen. Trust me, mwah, it's perfect. You're going to love it. It's everything you enjoyed in this one and yet so much more and so much spicier and so different. Who knows how I do it? Anyway, I'll see all of you in the next one. Have an absolutely splendid day. Goodbye.